Hi and welcome. I'm Dr. Melissa and today we're going to be doing yoga for posture, melting away any tension that you may have going on in your mid and low back area. Go grab your mats and let's do this. All right, let's get started. Come down onto your backs. Just finding comfortable position. Nice, gentle breath in. I want you to stretch out through everything. Reach those fingertips all the way up overhead. Nice big breath, reach it out. Arms are heavy behind your head and just notice, how does everything feel? Where do your arms land? What points are hitting the back in the ground? Notice all those little differences because we're gonna come back to this at the end and compare how we feel. Hands come back down by your side. Just scoot those legs back in and we're just gonna bring our right knee in towards our chest. Give that a nice hug, nice gentle breath in. Take your left leg, extend that out. Nice gentle breath in. Maybe we do some circles with that right ankle. And just keep staying with your breath. You're gonna keep coming back to your breath throughout your practice, making sure it's staying out of our chest and down out to the sides of our rib cage. And grab behind the back of that leg. We're gonna gently straighten your leg, point those toes towards the sky. And then bend your knee, pull your foot up towards you. Straighten that leg, point your toes. And then bring that leg back down, bend the foot up towards you. So just easing in and out so you feel a gentle stretch and then back away. So our hamstrings can get tight if we're sitting a lot during the day behind our computers and our devices and it might not actually be the actual muscle themselves it could be the nerve that's giving you that tight feeling especially if you're like i've been stretching and nothing seems to be helping so gently easing in and out like this can help calm our nerves and our nervous system down one more time that's why it's really careful not to overstretch those nerves Nice. Keep bringing that knee in towards your chest. We're going to bring that right leg all the way over towards the left hand side. That right arm can come straight out to the side like a T. Maybe you come into a half cactus and you're breathing into it. You're not forcing anything. Just notice what do you feel in your low back, that mid back area. Nice gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good. Take another nice gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, one more here. Nice. And then we're gonna keep rolling onto our left hand side. You're gonna prop yourself up onto that left forearm. Option, you can stay, keep those hips down, or if you want a little added core work, lift the hips, come up. We're gonna take that right arm, sweep your right arm all the way up overhead. This right side of your rib cage lifts towards the sky. Nice, gentle breath in. Spin your chest towards the ground, reach through those fingertips, and then peel your chest open, come into a half cactus. Sweep those arms, lift overhead. Nice, gentle breath in, reach through those fingertips. And then peel your chest, come open, half cactus. Good, two more times, rotate from that rib cage, reach through those fingertips, nice breath in. Squeeze your shoulder blade open through that chest. Last time, reach through those fingertips, nice breath in. And then open, squeeze your shoulder blade. Good, we're gonna lower all the way down onto that left hand side. And you're gonna take your right knee, keep that right knee bent, and just start to do circles with your hip. So lift this hip up, back behind you. Bring that knee in towards your chest, lift up, and especially pressing through that right heel, kicking back behind. So you feel the glutes versus feeling it in that low back. And just notice how the hip wants to move all different directions. Use your breath here. Good for three, two, last one. Nice, we're gonna roll onto our stomach and prop yourself up onto those forearms, coming into Sphinx Pose. Think of broadening through the front of your chest. We're gonna pull yourself, come forward, open through the chest, nice, gentle breath in, and then round it out. Pull your chin towards your chest, cat and cow. 
Good, pull yourself, come forward, open through your chest. Nice breath in. Round everything out, chin to chest. Pull yourself, come forward, open up. One more time, notice what parts of your spine feel a little extra sticky. And just keep trying to ease your way into that. Let's keep rolling onto our right side and come all the way down. You can let your head rest or prop yourself up. Those knees are gonna be bent. We're gonna take the left knee, bring your left knee in towards your chest, big circles lifting up and back behind. Nice, gentle movements. Keep using that breath. How does this hip move compared to your other side? I know I always have to think just a little bit more on my left side. We're trying to get that leg back behind us, especially trying to open up the front of these hips. Good, for three, two, nice job, one more time. And then lower those legs down. Now we're gonna prop up. Now if you want that extra core, you can lift those hips all the way up. Take your left arm, sweep your left arm all the way up overhead. Spin your chest down towards the ground, reach through those left fingertips. Peel your chest, lift open, half cactus. Good, take that left arm, reach your left arm all the way up overhead, nice breath in. And then open, squeeze your shoulder blade. How is your rotation on this side feel compared to your other side? Just gently moving in and out. We'll do two more. Keep pressing into that right arm nice and firm. Good. One more time. Nice job. We'll lower all the way back down. We're going to bring that left knee in towards our chest. The right leg goes out, kind of scoot onto your back, coming back into that twist. So right hand to your left thigh. That left arm can go straight out to the side like a T. Gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Just trying to breathe into the sides of your rib cage, opening up. Maybe you turn your gaze to look at that left arm. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then slowly pull yourself, come onto your back. Keep pulling that left knee in, grab behind the back of it, and we're just gonna straighten the leg, point those toes. Bend your knee, pull your foot up towards you. Straighten that leg, point your toes, and then bring it back in. Just gently easing in and out. Maybe you even notice a little difference just laying on your back now, how things have started to open up with our posture. Good, and we've got Three, two, last one. Now grab that leg, pull that leg in nice and close. Reach out through that right leg. Maybe just do some gentle circles with the left ankle. Gently moving around. Nice breath in. Good. And then bring both legs back in. Both feet are gonna come back down towards the ground. Let your head and shoulders get nice and heavy. And then you're gonna press those hips, lift your hips, come all the way up. Lengthen through the front of your thighs. Feel those glutes fire up. And then we're just gonna sway. So lift that right hip up and over to the side. Dip down over towards the left hand side. So a little drop from right to the left. Stay with your breathing. Nice work. Couple more here. Keep spreading those toes. Nice work, last one. Lower everything all the way back down and let's roll on to coming into tabletop. Press down into those hands. We're gonna lengthen out through the crown of your head and take that right leg, send your right leg straight back behind you. Now I want you to firm up through the left leg, push that down into the ground. Keep pressing your right heel back behind you. You're gonna round out, tuck everything underneath, pull your chin towards your chest, cat. 
And then lift your tailbone, sink your chest, head comes up. Round everything out into your chest. And then lift your head, sink your chest. Really focusing right in between that shoulder blade area. Nice, one more time here. Good, back towards center, take your right leg, lift your right leg up, bring it over towards that left hand side, curl those toes underneath, press through your back heel, push those hands over towards the right hand side to feel more of a stretch down the right side. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, take another gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Take your right leg, float that right leg back up towards the sky. Scoot your knee back in. We're gonna sink the hips, bring it back down, coming into either child's, child's bonification here, or you can stay in tabletop, whatever feels most comfortable for you. We're pressing into the left hand. Take your right arm, spin your right arm open towards the sky, and then sweep, come underneath. Press into your left hand, rotate that chest, lift it up and then drop back underneath. One more, press into that hand, spin your chest, nice big breath in, and then drop everything back down. Take your right hand back down towards the mat. Press into that right hand, take your left arm, spin your left arm up, and then drop, come underneath. Inhale, rotate, lift up, and then bring that arm back underneath, nice work. One more time after this and just see how does your back feel one side compared to the other side. Nice work, take that hand back down. Pull yourself, come all the way back up. Tabletop position, take your left leg, send your left leg back and over towards that right hand side. Press through your back heel, turn your gaze over towards that right foot. We're pushing the hands off to the left hand side and just breathe all the way down that left hand side. Nice breath in, exhale, let it go. Take another nice gentle breath in, exhale, let it go. Float that leg, lift it back up. That toe comes down towards the ground. Keep pressing into those palms, cat and cow rounding it out. Pull your chin towards your chest, tuck that tailbone underneath. And then lift your head, sink your chest. Round everything, chin to chest, tuck that tailbone, press into the top of that right chin, and then inhale, lift one more time, round it out, really trying to get that movement coming from our mid back. Sink the chest, lift your head. And then you can come, bring that leg back in, plank on your knees, plank on those toes, lengthen out, lower everything all the way down. And then you can rest your forehead down on the ground. I'm gonna stay up so that you can hear me. We're gonna bring our arms down by our side. Turn your gaze looking down. You can also lift your head, but just make sure your chin's not sticking out or gently tucking it in and feeling this length through the base of our skull. So definitely feel free to rest it on a block or a pillow or down on the mat. We're gonna pull the front of your, um, pull the front of your shoulders away from the mat. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, open through the front of your chest and then lower back down. So we wanna feel everything right in this area. If you're feeling it in your low back, think of taking your pubic bone and just gently pressing it down towards the ground a little bit more. Squeeze the shoulder blades open through the chest, nice breath in, and then drop it back down. If you wanna add on, you can lift the arms up. It doesn't matter how high the arms go, we want this opening through the front of the chest and then slowly bring it back down. Nice work. Squeeze those shoulder blades, open up, and then drop it back down. Squeeze and lift. Stay with your breath. Keep reaching through those fingertips. Fire up all the muscles in that arm. This is a great one to just kind of help re reverse that curve from our back from sitting. Good, we've got one more. Lift, hold and squeeze, hold just a little bit longer here. You've got this holding for five, four, three, two, one. Bring those hands back down to the mat option. You can press those hips back into child's pose or if you wanna come into a down dog, you can lift those hips, come up and back. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. 
Awesome. Take another nice gentle breath in. Exhale, let everything go. And then when you're ready, we're just gonna meet at the front of the mat, however you wanna get there. Press into those feet, lift everything all the way up. Hands come down towards heart center. Take your left leg, we're gonna step that left leg back, coming into a lunge position. So really firm up through those feet. We're gonna keep the hips nice and square facing forward and getting a lot of movement from our rib cage. So lift those arms, come up. We're gonna exhale, twist. Take your right arm behind you. Reach those fingertips opposite direction. Inhale, bring both arms back up overhead. Exhale, twist, left hand side. Inhale, let's come back up. Exhale, twist to the right hand side. Inhale, lift up. One more time, twist to the left. Bring everything back up. We're gonna straighten out through this left leg. Fold yourself forward, lengthening through the crown of your head, just feeling a gentle pull in the back of the thigh. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Bend through your front knee. Take your left leg, step your left leg forward. Inhale, sweep those arms, come up overhead. Take your right leg behind your left. Grab hold of that right wrist and bend over towards the side. Inhale, pull yourself, come back up. Hands come down towards heart center, uncrossing those legs. Here we go on the other side. So that right leg steps it back, come into that lunge position. So our hips stay facing forward. Sweep those arms, lift up overhead. Press the right heel to the ground. Press that left foot down, trying to lift out of the waist. Rotate from your rib cage, twist to the left hand side. Inhale, lift, come back up, twist to the right hand side. Just flow with your breath. Lift those arms up. On the inhale, exhale, we're twisting to face the side. Inhale, lift back up. We're gonna go through one more time. Float through using that breath. Nice work. Last one. Rotate from that rib cage. Come back through to center, straighten out through your left leg. Pull that left hip back, fold it forward, lengthen out. And how does the back of this thigh feel compared to your other side? Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, take one more breath in. Nice work, bend through your front knee, take that right leg, step it forward, sweep those arms, come up overhead, left leg hooks behind, bend over towards the right hand side. Nice breath in, exhale, let it go. Pull yourself, come all the way up, float it forward. Hands come down to the ground, step it back. Now you can come right back to child's pose, down dog. If you would like to vinyasa through, you can. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Nice work. And then gently pull yourself, come forward. Come all the way down. And then let's come back onto our backs. We're gonna lengthen out through everything. Take those arms all the way up overhead, stretch through those fingertips, and then just get nice and heavy. How does this feel compared to when we first started? Is one arm sitting closer to the ground? Do you have less pressure in between those shoulder blades? Just notice those little things as we've worked on kind of reversing that curve from sitting during the day. Bring those hands back down by your side. You're gonna roll those toes in towards each other and then roll the legs out. One more time, roll those legs in and then roll them back out. Bring those knees in towards your chest, curl up one more time. Maybe the head stays down, maybe you lift all the way up, gently rocking from side to side. And then lengthen out through those legs. 
Get super heavy on your mat. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Take another nice, gentle breath in out to the sides of your rib cage. Keep getting super heavy on your mat. Just reflecting how that back opened up, melting away that tension, softening. Good. Let's take one more gentle breath in here. Exhale, let it all out. Carefully bring one leg in and then the other. Gently rolling onto one side. Pull yourself, come all the way up into a comfortable seated position. Let's take one last cleansing breath in. Lift those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Thanking your bodies for all of its good work during our practice today. Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste.